Oh, hello, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on post-production here on YouTube, and I'm really excited to show you this next thing that we're about to talk about right now. <laughs> hey, has this ever happened to you? Say you're working in Fusion, maybe doing some comping, just comping it up, and you're not really sure whether you like what you're doing or if you wanna do it maybe a little different. But you don't wanna go back and undo a bunch of your work and maybe mess something up, so wouldn't it be nice if you could kinda of just save a quick copy of what you're doing and then try something out and then switch in between them to see what you like better? Well, that's actually possible in Fusion as well as the color page, and we're gonna jump in taking a look at that right now. Let's start out in Fusion here. I have a simple comp that is just a drone shot, looks all pretty, and we're adding some fog here with our fast noise effect. Just adding a little bit of fog here. I'll punch up the detail just so we can see this a little better, maybe bring down the scale. You see how we're, see what we're doing here? You see this? Let's say maybe we want to try something different. Well, if you go up to the very top right hand side of the inspector, next to your lock and your pin and your reset and everything is this little buddy called versions. When you click that, it brings up these little numbers and you can save all of the settings down here in a certain version and flip in between them to see what is the best. So let's try it out. Let's say we like this version, but maybe we'll make a new one just by clicking on the number two here. And let's say we want this fog to be a little bit cooler, right? So we'll take some of the red down in the fog, make this more of kind of a cyan. And now we can switch back and forth in between our versions and see what we like better. Isn't that cool? Whichever one we want, if we want to iterate on that, maybe I decide that I like this cyan, I can start on two and just click on three and that'll make a duplicate of it. Maybe we'll just change the scale, maybe the brightness, whatever we want to do for our fog. And now we can compare all three of those. Pretty freaking nifty. And you can do that for just about any node inside of Fusion. Very, very handy. And if at any point you want to change it, you can just switch back to whatever you want. Let's take a look at a version of versions in the color page. Whoopsh. So let's say we do a little grade here, a little bit of saturation, looks nice, and we wanna try something else. Well, if we go down to our thumbnails here, we can right click on our clip and go up to local versions, create new version, and we can even name it. Maybe we'll call this night. And let's try a color grade where this looks like it's more kind of nighttime. So maybe we'll reset things, bring the gamma down a little more, maybe make the lift a little bit cooler, something like that. And now we have kind of this nighttime look, and this is our second version. We can right click, go up to local versions and create a new version, and we'll call this morning. Maybe we'll take down the gamma a little bit, but we'll push a little warmer. And now we have this nice kind of early morning feel. And we can even switch in between the versions on our keyboard by hitting Control N, to switch in between the different versions. And you can pretty quickly see what you like and what you don't like. I mean, I kind of like this warm one, but I like the night one too. Kind of depends on what you're doing. So there's a quick little tip, hopefully help your workflow inside of Resolve. Hey, thank you so much for sticking to the end. If you did, make sure to hit that like button so that I remember and I know that you stuck to the end. Then I will know it and we will know it together. And it'll be great. It'll be so great. You and me. Buddies. Buddies.